Last week we visited the Van Duzer Winery in Oregon. This week we're going to visit with Dr. Eric Staffney, fruit crop specialist here at OSU to learn about Oklahoma's grape industry. Thanks for joining me today. Sure, hi Cam. How are you doing? Great. Well, could you tell me a little bit about Oklahoma's growing wine industry? Yes, uh, we've had a long history in Oklahoma of growing wine grapes here, uh, but in the early part of the century, of the, the 20th century, there were over 5,000 acres of grapes. Mm -hmm. They were mainly American grapes, so things like Concord and Catawba. Mm -hmm. um, since Prohibition, grapes kind of went out of favor, and now they're coming back in. So in the last 10 years or so, there's been a real increase in the number of wine grapes grown in Oklahoma. And so far, we've done a lot of different testing of different grapes. So uh -huh. there's American grapes, there's hybrid grapes, and there's the European or Vitus vinifera type of grapes that you're, most people are more familiar with. Okay, and what in Oklahoma, what are some good choices? To go well, that, that's still being determined, Okay. but within the state, it's so diverse. If you're in the northeast part of the state or the north side of the state, you're going to have hybrids and American grapes are going to do best. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're southwest part of the state where its climate is drier and doesn't get as cold, uh, you might be able to get away with some Vitus vinifera types down there. Um, but we're still kind of working on which ones work best uh, throughout every area of the state. Excellent. Um, now, if someone was interested in getting involved with growing grapes, how, do you, how would you get started? Well, a good way to start is to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a, a short course, a mm -hmm. grape management short course that we teach here at, in Perkins at the Cimarron Valley Research Station. Okay. And that runs from usually the end of February through September every year. It meets one time per month. And that's pretty easy to sign up for and, and get a good education that way. It's mainly for beginners. Okay. Um, there are other ways uh, throughout the state. There's uh, workshops and things that are taught as well that you can try and do that to get started. And there's also an association of growers. There is. The Oklahoma Grape Growers and Winemakers Association is uh, an statewide encompassing group of those those folks who grow grapes and make wine and so they have a website oklahomawines.org and you can go there for a lot more information they have a map of all the wineries in the state uh, that are members of the organization and they have a listing uh, and links to those different wineries as well so you could go and uh, tour some of the the vineyards as yes well. definitely Absolutely. definitely that's a great way to educate yourself too Eric, can you tell me a little bit about how um, an average home gardener can incorporate grapes into their plantings? Yeah, it's pretty easy actually. Um, you, for a home gardener, I would suggest choosing a variety that's fairly disease resistant. One okay. of the biggest diseases we have is black rot, mm -hmm. but there are disease resistant varieties out there that you can choose that will minimize the spraying that you have to do okay. and also create uh, fruit that's good for jams, jellies, juice, wine, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do with that. How many vines would a grower need, a gardener need, just to produce a small amount of wine? A, a small amount of wine, you can, with about between five and ten vines, you can produce quite a bit. Okay. And um, table grapes are certainly another option. Sure. Uh, table grapes uh, are a great option for homeowners mm -hmm. because they are generally hybrids, so they're fairly well adapted. Yeah. Uh, these, this variety is Neptune. This came from University of Arkansas, where it was bred, and it does um, it, it does really well in our, our environment. Produces a, a large amount of fruit, mm -hmm. and it's fairly disease resistant too. It also has good cold hardiness during the winter time, so you're not going to see a lot of damage uh, due to that on this vine. Okay, and there's also a fact sheet that. Uh homeowners can look at yes. regarding growing there grapes. There is a fact sheet that OSU has on growing grapes for the home garden. 